The Immortal John Hancock here, and today I'm announcing a new game on physical for the Atari 2600, and I'm delighted to share this with you. And, you know, in 2014, in collaboration with Jason Santucci of Gemintronic, we worked together and made Game Panic, and this was an homage to kind of a, a throwback to LCD gaming, and this was really successful and went on, and I still offer this at conventions in physical cart form. This was the original release, and uh, there was even a 3D version of it. Long story there. And then later on in 2016, at the Portland Retro Gaming Expo, teamed up with him again to make a Sega Genesis sequel, Game Panic 2. And, you know, this was a fun project. Also offered it on Sega CD, and I offer that on digital USB sticks. To continue along with the tradition, I'm happy to announce the third Game Panic 3 parcel success. And this is in deluxe packaging, and I'm gonna unbox this, show you some gameplay. Here we go. I'm really excited, I worked really hard on offering this on physical. There was a small release done by the programmer at Korg's on a dual cart. This is the deluxe release with awesome creative packaging as well as artwork by Corey Kramer. And here it is. And so I work really hard on these releases. A lot of my releases come packaged this way. The labels were printed by Phil Boland, who does all my labels, does a great job. He actually printed the manuals and insert. And in Rock Solid Productions, did this cool 3D printed add-on. All these, by the way, are numbered. And so I don't know how many I'm gonna make. I probably can make around 100 plus. After about 55 copies, there will be a different case that will be black. Um, that's just due to supply issues. Anyways, I wanted to offer something where people could pick up at conventions, but not worry about transporting them. That's why I use the hard cases. As well, it's easier for me to transport them two conventions. Just well done. I want to thank everybody that was involved with this project as there was many and I am happy to go show you the gameplay now. There's a demo mode. I love that Jason Santucci offered that as he offers that on many of his games. This is an homage to like a, you know, like a tabletop old school gameplay style and there's two main difficulty settings. I'm gonna show you the easier version first. And the story goes, new batch of games has arrived at the Retro Tower only to be incorrectly delivered to random floors. Corral the carts while avoiding invaders and dodging death. Grab guest boxes to meet your quota too. Guest box effects include bonus score, warping to elevator, and more time. Elevators open and close intermittently. Any surface that makes contact above your feet can be climbed. When enough carts and guest boxes are collected, it's three on easy mode and six on difficult mode are collected. The player's place far left or right on the elevator and move to the new set of five floors. Each stage has five floors. There's 16 levels total. When enemies warp in, they pause and can be safely avoided. Crouch to avoid flying foes. Contact with enemies or running out of time loses a life. Run out of lives and it's game over. And what's cool about this game is this easily be, can be played by uh, kids and adults of all ages. I like the easy mode. It's just kind of a more chill mode. The difficulty uh, does ramp up if you select the, the harder mode. And so definitely for, for expert gamers, you may want to check that out. But it's just a fun little game. I like that there's 16 different stages and they get unveiled the farther you get in this. And if you like these types of videos, I do old school, consider hitting that like and subscribe button and clicking the bell as I'm doing all different types of content. Everything from Atari to Xbox, a little bit of retro, a little bit of modern, and a whole bunch of fun. And so I really like these types of kind of pick up and play arcade style games. And uh, Jason just did a great job programming this. He's done several other 2600 games. The link will be below to his bio webpage as well as a demo of this. You can go on Atari Age. There's a demo free to download to check this out. And a lot of people can't go to conventions, so you want to check out the demo. You can get a sample of what this game's like. And so these types of uh, projects uh, are a labor of love. Uh, a portion of proceeds will go to the programmer as well. We uh, split proceeds. Uh, the cost on these types of projects is 
uh, fairly affordable. I want to offer this as a complete in case project for 40 bucks. So this is going to be 40 bucks at conventions. And I think that's fairly affordable considering the time and effort done at putting this together. This is a kind of a cool stage. Reminds me of kind of Donkey Kong Jr. And really like what he's done here. I wanted to show a sample of the 16 stages. There's more, but I'm not going to ruin it for people if you pick it up. I know there's a lot of old school fans watching this. And here's the more difficult setting. And you have to pick up six carts or question marks. Question marks count as one of the quotas per stage. You have to get six. And so there's just a lot going on. So uh, your timer goes a lot faster in this setting. So there's elevators left and right, and then they'll kind of lock you out. You have to wait for them to open, and then you can go up and down. It's just cool. It's, it's just, just enough gameplay there to be fun to go back and replay uh, these types of simplistic arcade games are kind of where I'm at at gaming. Ones that don't take multiple hours to complete. I don't have multiple hours to play games anymore. I'm adulting, man, and I got a family and I'm busy. I'm working several hours a week and my, my downtime is limited. So I know there's a lot of people that work hard and are in my same boat. And so these are the types of games I think, you know, hooking up your old school Atari, or if you're gonna play this in various different ways, emulator, if you're playing the demo, which is free to download, I'll put a link below. And just just great, you know, I've been working with this programmer for uh, nearly 10 years, and we've done several projects together for Atari and Sega Genesis, with a future project to be announced, hopefully down the road. Always looking to publish new games, and you know, as a small time publisher, I love these little projects and you know, offering these in small production runs is my jam. And so, yes, uh, just some neat stage design. And you know, it just reminds me of that you know, old school tabletop. You know, like I think of like a like a Donkey Kong Jr. style Coleco tabletop gameplay. Physical copies will first begin to be available at Game On Expo, next at Portland Retro Gaming Expo, and at Torg. So the goal is to offer these at in-person conventions as well as offer maybe some other options of playing this down the road. I have to talk with the programmer as well as hopefully, fingers crossed, offer some other options for people that want to get this. Thank you so much. What did you think of the game in the comments below? Let me know. And as always, thank you for watching this video. If you like what you see, consider hitting that like and subscribe button and clicking the bell as I'm uploading videos every week. You folks are wonderful and beautiful. Let's keep it positive. This is the Immortal John Hancock, and you take care.